Hey guys, good morning. So yesterday I kind of finished unpacking. I got most of my clothes like put away, but I still have like some things here and there. But today I am going to Hongdae to go see my friend Rowan. They visited me like two winters ago uh, to spend Christmas with me. And I met them through EF Korea and now they are back in Korea at the same time. So we're both just gonna meet up and spend some time together. But for now, I'm just gonna get changed and get like my makeup done and everything so that I can be looking all cute. I'm taking you guys along with me. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty fucking tired <laughs> just because of all the unpacking, but um, let's do it again. <laughs> I like never created a very good makeup routine. Like if you see any of my videos, I just like don't, you know, do my makeup that much. And um, you know, um, I do have a bit of a skincare routine, but it's not like a religious skincare routine, what it probably should be so that I can be, you know, looking the best that I can be and having like healthy skin. I've been trying better to get really into moisturizing just because I see that that seems to be like a very crucial step. My mirror is right here, so I'm going to be like looking here a lot as I do my makeup. Well, I kind of felt like I was bad at makeup. It's just because the foundation part of my skin always seemed like very, I don't know, flaky and just kind of dry looking, right? And I just felt like I wasn't maybe buying the proper like foundation or knew even like what my skin type was or any of that. But you know, I just realized, I just feel like I'm just not moisturizing enough. So I've been trying to implement this moisturizer um, that I've always liked when I do end up doing, you know, my skin. Uh, so I put that on. And then I am Brazilian and Mexican. I don't burn. So I always have the mentality of like, I don't need sunscreen type. That being said, I just never really used sunscreen. So I didn't really know what to buy, but I went there with the Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Oil Free Sunscreen with SPF 30. Um, just because I see too, it's like not only um, you know, just because I don't burn, that doesn't mean that like sunscreen isn't important to your routine to keep your skin like moisturized and healthy. I'm trying to like use it more, even if it's like not a super like sunny day, you know, just like keep my skin healthy. So you can see I'm getting real moisturized. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a huge makeup person. I mean, you guys have definitely been following me um, and can see. I just don't use makeup often in my videos, but um, I thought it'd be a nice change to feel a bit more ready in the day by doing my makeup. Feel more awake and like just ready for the day. Yeah, because I definitely would not say I have skin problems. You know, but I have noticed definitely a spike in my skin being a bit more texture on the forehead, which is very common. I've noticed like, um, you know, a lot more, you know, I only used to get acne on my forehead and only when I was about to go on my period. But lately I've noticed it's just kind of breaking out a lot more on my cheeks. And I definitely think it's because I haven't really implemented a very good skincare routine in any way. Um, that's definitely just my fault. This is like way kind of dark for my skin, but um, cause my neck is definitely like, but that's okay. I feel like my thoughts are everywhere when I speak. It's 10.51 and I'm definitely supposed to meet my friend at 3 p.m. It takes me about an hour and a half to get to Seoul. So I, my plan was to get there around 2 p.m. for a haircut that hopefully I can get into because I scheduled my haircut for next Wednesday, not this Wednesday. So by doing that, and I didn't want to cancel it because it's like getting refunds to me is just like literally just a pain in the ass. So um, my goal was to go there early because I'm gonna be in home day anyways, is to go there early 
stop in at the hair salon that my friends all suggested. I speak English and be like, hey, can we, you know, do you have any openings now? And definitely they might say no. Um, but I'm hopeful since it's like the middle of the week that they will have openings. Let's do it after. My hands feel so gross. I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my eyebrows, not to like toot my own horn, but I've been told I look better without makeup. I've, I've used, like I know how to use makeup, like don't get me wrong, but um, often when I end up doing any sort of makeup, I get told, oh, you look better without makeup. And it's not like, I don't know, like I've generally been told like you should stop wearing makeup, like not necessarily like, oh, like you look, more natural type thing. It's genuinely just like, you just look better for that makeup. And so I kind of also started putting my mind like, oh yeah, maybe I do look better without makeup. Maybe I should just like not be wearing makeup anymore. And so I definitely like stopped wearing it as much. Um, I wanted to spice it up. Definitely like different angle that like definitely happened but let's see if by like loading the black onto the brush and kind of like buffing it out that looks a lot better um she's definitely not even but I don't know if that was the look I was necessary going for, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, I, I actually think I'm done. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Think I'm thinking for my hair, just like little clips um, twisted here. Let's see, let's just try it out. If it looks dumb, then we'll, we'll revoke that idea. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> I guess I'll bring you guys with me. Come, come with me. This is my friend's room. Danielle. I tamed it. It's the hair clothes that my friend got me. I want you guys to like see my vision, okay? You'll see it, you'll see it. You'll see it. That kind of shit, you know? I hope. Oh my god, my hair is too big. I have too much hair. Okay, I know this kind of looks crazy, but like, yo, I'm feeling my fantasy right now. What's the back look like though? <laughs> Let's see. Um, actually, that's not bad. Cute. Okay. Cute. I'm literally like ready to go. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Not my clothes though. Okay, I just don't know what to use clothes wise. I definitely need to charge my phone, so I'm just gonna prop you guys up here and show you what we're working with from afar. black sheer and then I'm thinking of this button up and then my corset okay let's try it let's look how cold it is outside he's literally walking backwards oh no I'm oh <laughs> 
surprise, the big reveal. What if we wore this? But I think I'm gonna not wear a dress. I think I'm gonna wear pants because of how cold it is, but yes. <laughs> okay. I think this will be the outfit. Okay, there we go. I definitely think these will be better. I'm walking to the station, <laughs> but it's so cold. I look like all this work to look cute, to just look like a little snowman. <laughs> She used to make me make the job when she wanted But we would come alive, come alive We'd come alive, come alive She told me time don't exist, it's a gun in hand And we all pull the trigger just to get her mad Oh yeah, we come alive, come alive We'd come alive, we'd come alive And all the pretty people with the silhouette Cause we're in there.